Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how I start a painting. Um, I like to go in with a wash of acrylics, um, kind of to lay out the color and the form before I go ahead and with oils. So I really enjoy painting with acrylics first. Um, that way I can kind of solidify all of the areas, where the paint's going to be. Um, yeah, so I do really light washes. In this painting specifically, as you can see, there was a lot of color. And you can tell right now as I'm going in that it's definitely um, not the tone and or color that I really like, uh, specifically for the form for the woman. Uh, I really struggled with the acrylic on this one. As you can kind of see, I'm kind of going in with yellow, like, God, why would, why did I do that? That was a terrible idea. <laughs> it just, oh, and then like I gave her black eyebrows. It was, I was struggling. Um, I prefer to paint um, portraits and uh, the human figure specifically with oil paints and you'll kind of see here what I do once I kind of figure out that I'm not getting the tonal value and the range that I really liked so um, yeah I start to go in with the rose get that color in there um, I really wanted this to be oozing and really vibrant and just definitely calling in a sensual energy. So the idea was to paint Aphrodite. As you can see, I start to wipe off the acrylic paint and now I'm going in with oils. I start doing a nice wash. I wash in with an entire mid-tone area of, I think I used burnt umber and a little bit of um, raw sienna or burnt sienna and I start to go in and I start to remove some of that paint that wash that I've laid in there to get more of the highlights all of the areas that are not as dark um, that are lighter than the mid-tone and then I start to go in and get darker adding in those shadows and those areas that are much darker than the mid-tone um, I start to slowly build up getting the form in, getting the sh getting more of like the shapes and the tone. Not too much worrying about having it look like a woman and more just worrying about how she is coming along and how it reads. Um, because form is so much more important than color. Um, color has its time and place, as you'll see. But I start to go in now with a varied of tonality and shades of the burnt umber and the burnt sienna. I mix that in with white um, and I do about five to six different values, shade values, uh, tonal values, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then I start putting in and building up my form. Um, this is my favorite part of oil painting, um, hands down. I love doing portraits. I love doing f the human figure. Um, and it made me really miss using oil paints because I guess acrylics are really fun because you get to really play around with the medium and you don't really have to worry too much about muddying it all up and waiting for the paint to dry like oils which can definitely take so much longer to dry and some people just ain't got the patience for that but oils were my first medium that I learned the first basic paints that I've ever learned to use so as you see I'm building up on that wash that I originally did that helped me flesh out the darkest areas and the lightest lights and now I'm just really really building up on that in order to make her come to life and yeah I'm 
definitely digging it. I really loved it. I really didn't fight too much with this piece. Um, the person I was commissioning it for really let me go wild on this piece. Let me be creative and really just do whatever it is that I was feeling. I love this piece. Um, I think it's great. I think she came out beautifully. And I honestly wish that I could have spent more time on it. But, you know, I think for where it's at, it's perfect. She oozes sensuality. She's oozing seductiveness. And as you can see, as I build up more and more and more, she just starts to pop. Anyway, I really go in there with a liner brush um, for the finer details and for all those little nooks and crannies and spots that have different variations of tonality uh, that really need to be um, highlighted and detailed and um, very specific and crisp. Um, that's my favorite part, honestly, of oil painting, of painting in general, is the details. It's it brings me life honestly it really helps me focus and get into a flow state and you know i think each artist has their own type of technique and their own favorite part of painting for some people it would be being way more expressive and abstract but honestly for me i think it's it's really just bringing something to life and making it stand and pop so crisp and so realistic um that's probably my favorite part i i start to work on her dress slash shawl that is drooped and draped over her i decided to just make it blue and not really worry too much about the polka dots that i had originally sketched in uh, that's the beauty of painting is you can kind of just omit things and change things up whatever you're feeling um i then um start to do gal kid as you can see i am mixing gal kid with which is a oil based medium i mix it with the colors and it just makes everything pop it's super vibrant super glossy i highly recommend it to my oil painters out there um as you can see the colors just really stand out um the original acrylic layer was definitely not saturated enough and not uh, didn't have that depth that the Gal Kid really, really, really shines and brings out. Um, I really enjoyed doing this painting. This painting is called Aphrodite's Bliss. It is 12 by 16, but you can order prints of it now in a varied sizes of 8.5 by 11 up to 13 by 19 on my website, felicemarieart.com. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more content. You can follow me on patreon.com and see more. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye.